The following podcast has been brought to you by Audible.com. Sign up now using the URL audibletrial.com forward slash TTV to get a free audiobook of your choosing. We recommend Brick by Brick, how Lego rewrote the rules of innovation and conquered the global toy industry. You may recognize this as one of the sources we use in our show, Bionicle Autopsy. Remember, that's audibletrial.com forward slash TTV. Enjoy the show. Five, four, three, two, one, sink. 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 Hello, I am EXX Trooper. I'm LJ. I'm Chikuma Nuva. And this is TTV Talks. All right. Good job, X. That was awesome. Thank first you. Try. I, I, wor- I worked a lot on that. I, I yeah, I, totally first try, guys. Totally first try. This is yeah. this is uh, Actually, some real show business. Lot, I mean, show business stuff. Practicing doesn't count as a try, right? No, <laughs> no. Practicing is is okay, like first warming try. Up. Yeah, because like when when you go to the gym, right? You you don't try it first. You warm up, and then then you do it. Then it's I happening. Don't go to the gym, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> Yeah, me neither. I've gone to the irrigation. gym actually quite recently once, but that's it. Do you work out, X? I want to, but I'm, <laughs> I'm way too lazy to do that. I just, Every I, nerd I, ever. Yeah, because like, the first thing I start my day off is just like, I, I look up, I look at the clock, and then just the, my first decision of the day is just going back to sleep. Like, that's, <laughs> like that, you don't go to, you don't go and work out with a personality like that. I bike a lot, though. Oh, but okay, that's good. That's it's good. Like some cardio, isn't it? Yeah, I, I guess so. I, I'm not sure what that is, but okay. it sounds very workouty, and it's English, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it I, is I English, I guess. Some, yeah. Yeah, X, isn't this your first time hosting TTV Talks? Has he been on TTV Talks at all before? Well, yeah, yeah, he no. has. Oh. <laughs> I have not. I've yeah, been on have. TTV Talks once before, okay. and Which that was with you, was Takuma. It? Was it Star Wars? I don't know. Uh, let, me, let me go look this up, because there's a list. The fans have compiled a list of the different TTV Talks really? you've been on. Yeah. Really? Uh, uh, okay, yeah. You were on Star Wars and oh. anime. Oh, I was on anime as well. Two. Oh, yeah, I remember that and one. That was <laughs> the la- yeah. The last one you were on was anime, and that was it. <laughs> is anime Star Wars? Yeah. Nice. What? You guys don't invite me to the TTV talks. They just sort of like You're happen. You're never around. Yeah, I- I'm always around, but I'm just I'm just not around. I guess yeah. I guess I'm not- I'm guess I'm not around. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> what, is what is this? What is this? Uh, how have you guys been this week? Uh, Isn't it? We're already two I, and a half minutes in. Isn't it too late to ask how we're doing? That ship is never sailed. too late. But fine, fine. I guess it is. We broke. We we took down a tree. That was my week. Oh, that's Trooper. cool. I uh, drank a lot of Red Bull, which is uh, which you guys didn't do. But I've actually been really productive this week because uh, I've done. Uh, I've done some t- No, that was last week, actually. No, I haven't done really much this week. <laughs> okay. Just drink Red Bull. Every nerd ever now. Except for drinking Red Bull. I've, I've played... No, I haven't I haven't done much. I really so, don't. X, I, I've seen the commercials. Does Red Bull give you wings? It doesn't, but... Um, oh. Like, they don't have that commercial much in Norway, but I think it's just been taken down because of the thing happening in America with people suing because they don't get wings. Wait. Wait, That's- what that happened? Uh, yeah. it sounds familiar. America, yeah, am I right? A, seriously. The thing with America, though, is that you guys sue every, everyone about everything. <laughs> but, um, about half the, the about half the country is the type that wakes up and decides, what am I going to be offended by or angry about today? Yeah, yeah, but, like, the thing is, what, what, what Red Bull happened, though, is that they had, like, this whole uh, commercial campaign going on, and there's, like, a bunch of marketing... Uh, oh, laws, yeah. Uh, yeah, and um, they, they basically told everyone that they that you get wings by drinking it, right? And then, I don't know what happened, if someone was just doing it for funsies or whatever they did, whatever they did but actually successfully sued Red Bull because uh, uh, that marketing com- campaign is actually just straight out lying. So it's something like, uh, I don't know which year it is, and don't quote me on this, because I'm not completely sure about this, but like at some point at one year, then every w- person that has ever bought a Red Bull before this year or uh, uh, a specific year, they 
can get their money back for one Red Bull can because Red Bull doesn't give you wings. Yep. What the heck? Yep, it was, is... it was like a class action lawsuit or something, so it got to the point where yeah. basically you could go into, I think you could like go to a gas station or something and get free Red Bull, but by the time it got spread out to all these people, it only amounted to like either one can or one case. I think only one can. I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember the specifics. But yeah, America. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I heard one time a lady bought some McDonald's coffee, which by the way, never get McDonald's coffee. Never get McDonald's. Don't, other, don't don't I, get, ever get anything from McDonald's ever, except for like the chicken McNuggets. The chicken like, McNuggets. I, are I haven't even had that from McDonald's. The Dude, only really? thing I remember having from McDonald's has been their coffee, it's straight coffee with some sugar. I have never had worse coffee. But doesn't, anyway, doesn't America have like a hundred thousand Starbucks everywhere? I, I don't know. I don't go to Starbucks. But one time, a gal bought some coffee. And she spilled it all over herself. It's a hot coffee. Oh my. She spilled it over herself while she was driving. She sued McDonald's and successfully won because she got burned. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, I mean like the law the idea of the lawsuit was that I think it was too hot and that's what she was going for, but yeah, at the end of the day she spilled coffee on herself and sued McDonald's for it. Yeah. But but seriously, like who thought that Red Bull would give you wings? It doesn't magically transform you into I'm birds. Not, I, I need to look this up. It's a like stupid a, 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 slogan and like a metaphor. Yeah. And people just decided that they were going to kill everybody else's fun or something. I don't know. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go sue Nike because I don't want to just do it. I want to <laughs> sit here and do nothing. Yeah, that like that is the line of mentality going on here. I mean, like, what what's the stuff you hear from uh, from Lego? What what's 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 that? I mean, there are does a Lego have a slogan? Like... No, 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 uh, no. Like, yeah, yeah, besides, they do. play well. They have play well, right? But like, like, l- l- let's into uh, looking into the, like the themes or uh, or whatever. Does Chima have like something like find the crystal or or something going well, on? Well, well, they uh, all have like that's these kind of intricate little that's not slogans, like a slogan, but... though. Oh no, but like they, someone could probably just. There's a difference between like <laughs> just... a slogan and like a theme. Yeah, but like, could someone sue uh, Lego on that thing? I mean, Lego has uh, been sued before. Well, Lego if one of the sets has sued. the crystal in it, it's not too hard to find it, so... Yeah. Uh, that, that was a, the most recent lawsuit I can recall about Lego was... Like, Lego has sued some people recently, but the last time I heard about somebody suing Lego was a mother who sued them because her two-year-old daughter got scared by the Anika commercial. Needless to be fair, to s- the Anika yeah. commercials are really spooky. <laughs> There are two, just, you, you get that stuff on, it's just two speaky 3-5 me. It's just, you just take that off. Like, the Parakas, like, they were smiling and stuff with their teeth out, but, like, the Anikas in, like, the rain and stuff like that, and, you know, like, the move along in the background, like, I just, just scared my pants off. Just, you can't do yeah. it. So that, that one's actually, um, I'd say that one is, is quite justified, actually, but, you know. Well, I, I don't know, I mean... The way I look at it, it's a commercial. You leave your TV on in front of your child, and you know they're gonna see some stuff. They're gonna see probably some drug commercial or some cigarettes or something. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Lego cigarettes one in not, the end. Can you can you commercialize cigarettes? You're not. Alcohol? You are not supposed to. You are not supposed to mark. This is kind of a thing in America, though I haven't can heard much that? about it lately. You're not allowed to market it towards. You know, like minors, people under eighteen, but you're still but allowed to market it. But it still kind of happens. Like they get they get through loopholes and stuff. Interesting. They're, they're, you're, you're not you're not allowed to market to kids, but they're trying. They're making their marketing in such a way that it is kind of supposed to appeal to kids. That way, you know, they can get them hooked on it sooner, earlier on, get more money out of them in the long run. I, I never understood the thing with, with smoking. Me either. Like, well, what you do like, is that bad, you but... inhale it, and then it just like goes down your lungs, and then it goes out again. Is that and it? And leaves behind yeah, a bunch it. of stuff that kills you. Yeah, and then it, yeah, and then there's a bunch of stuff that like give you cancer, that um, like lowers your stamina, um, makes you look older, short um, of breath, bunch of stuff. But you know, it makes you look kind of cool. Does well, it? Like, I can suppose. do that with bubbles and look like infinitely cooler. 
I don't know. Like like a, a bubble pipe? That'd be kind of funny. You want to know a good one that I've heard? Actually, once had a whole list of these stupid lawsuits that... One of my favorites is um, the guy who broke into someone's house and, you know, he was trying to burglarize them, uh, mm-hmm. went to leave out through the garage. The garage, uh, the big, like, the big garage door wouldn't open. Smacked him. And the garage door leading from back into the house locked and behind him. And then he him. sued it? Locked, the, the, so he was, the door locked behind him. He couldn't get the big garage door open. The family was away on vacation. So he was stuck in this garage for somewhere between like one and two weeks, living off of nothing but a couple cases of Diet Pepsi and dog food. When the finally came, when the family finally came home and he got out, he sued the homeowner's insurance, saying it caused him undue mental anguish, to the tune of like several thousand dollars. <laughs> what? He, he won, didn't he? Yep. I, yeah, I Undo mental to... anguish. But how? What did he not get? Like any sort of punishment for you know breaking into their house? Uh, I, I don't know. But he made a, well, he made away with enough money that he probably could have made bail on that alone. Yeah, I, I mean, think about it though. He did kind of get punished for it. That's like, some he, karma for you, right there. Yeah, he got the karma, but then the karma was negated by the fact that he won a settlement from the insurance. Yeah, that that's ridiculous. You know, I, I've never sued anybody before, so... I hope never, too. Yeah. I, I can see in some certain instances there are there is a place for lawsuits. There is no place for lawyers. But, you know... I don't know. I guess the, I guess the lawyers have to make money, I guess. <laughs> didn't, They'll didn't, make money. But didn't, um, like, uh, Norway... No, Norway. Lego sue uh, a couple people because... Um, Yes, uh, it was either their figure or just the building blocks. Yeah, some sort of sued, copyright well, issue. They, I guess they tried to sue Mega Blocks at some point because of their brick, but because they didn't keep up on their trademark over the brick, it got let go, and Mega Blocks kind of like it, it just dissipated. They threw it out of court, but they recently won a bunch of lawsuits against several different toy companies for their like minifigure designs. Yeah, and that, that actually the, the thing that was quite recent about the the signs. That, yeah, that reminds me of something very specific, kind of an alternate. You know, this isn't just big companies going out. Or, or, um, I'm completely stumbling over my words. Sort of another uh, facet to the sort of the same thing going on. I don't want to completely derail this conversation, but especially within like the Brony community, you know. They have a lot of creative type people who actually do did a lot more, a lot bigger things than I've ever seen out of the Bionicle community. And often Ooh. Hasbro would have to come along and shut down these big projects they were working on. Like one was a full fledged fighting game. You know? What? Like the pony version of Street Fighter or something. And Hasbro had to come along and shut it down, along with other like shorts and stuff. Not because they wanted to. They didn't want to. They wanted to let their fans, you know, have their fun and everything. But because if they don't shut things like this down, then they lose, like, the rights to their trademark or copyright or something like that. Yeah. And at that point, it becomes so that, like, anyone can do anything with it. So then you yeah. wind up with other companies doing whatever they want and capitalizing on it or making it something just complete trash. Yeah, so my little, my little bricky. So, yeah, just something to keep in mind when people get, you know... If you get mad because something, some fan thing you made got taken down, you have to keep in mind that they do have an obligation to control their IPs and stuff. Yeah, and we actually did a Bionicle autopsy post-mortem video regarding this kind of thing, because there was a fan project for Bionicle a while back that was trying to, like, sell a, a disc, the Matt Nui online game on a disc. Mm-hmm. And we had this huge discussion about it. We got yelled at, of course. But oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a cool and idea, just, but like you could just you could just download it for for free. <laughs> exactly, and so, everyone like trying to pass it off as this like collector's edition and and something like that. So yeah, it's understandable. <laughs> but uh, there's there's so many man. What was another one of the lawsuits? Pro- probably my favorite one 
I almost feel like I should you have leave a this for last. Lawsuit, Takuma. You have, you have like a list of just ah, oh, these are. The I, I do have a like. literal list. It's like on a couple pieces of paper. I got printed out, but I don't have. I, have I don't have them lot. on me right now. I have but, a um, lot of weird friends, including you. But <laughs> but like lawsuit, just favorite lawsuits that like that. That's just like some next level stuff going okay, on okay. there. Okay, so okay, okay. Try this one on for you. size. Yeah, you know. A guy, a, a guy buys a Winnebago motor m- bleh, motor home. Oh, I've heard this one before. What is okay. that? A motor home? It's like it's like a, a home a of motors and a house kind of mix. You don't know. You've never heard of a it's, motor. It's home. a camp. It's it's a think of like a bus, except instead of having rows of seats in the bus, you've got like this little tiny kitchenette and maybe a small. So it's bed like a mobile and, home. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's that's what it is. It's one of those. Yeah, but but we call them. There's like a certain type. We call them a Winnebago. The Winnebago is the brand. If that I'm not sounded mistaken. Italian. <laughs> Whenever Winnebago. I hear it, I always think Winnebago. Now it's French. Winnebago. <laughs> yeah, you are our five thousandth <laughs> customer. You but want what a bagel. about this mobile home? What is what is about this? this mobile okay, home? so guy buys a brand new Winnebago motor home. I don't even want to know how much these things cost. Some <laughs> absurd amount, I'm sure. But, um, so, he buys the Winnebago motorhome, takes it out on the road, puts it on cruise control. Cruise control. Now, just in case we have people in our audience who have never actually driven, don't know what cruise control is, basically, it's a button on the steering wheel, and when you hit it, it makes it so that the vehicle you're driving stays the speed you're currently at. So you can take your yeah. feet, you can take your foot off the gas pedal, and the vehicle will just keep going. It won't speed up, won't slow down. It just stay there. That's all it does. It's maintain speed. Yeah. So very the helpful ga- for not getting a ticket if you're going along the freeway. Yeah, that. I mean, it's good if you. It's easy if you're going, or you know, it's better if you're going long distances because then you know your foot's not getting cramped or something from trying to hold the gas pedal at a certain spot. You can just let it rest. Yeah, so it's it's a mobile home, and it like drives. Yeah. I, di- I digress. Ish. So, and, guy puts his yeah. puts his motor home on cruise control, gets mm-hmm. up from the driver's seat, walks in back to make himself some coffee. <laughs> the cruise control does nothing for steering. Oh, guess what happens? <laughs> Just um, guess what happens. He launches him. It automatically parks, and the end. Everything was nice afterwards, and he lived <laughs> in peace for the rest of his life. And Trooper, have you ever driven confirmed. anything before? I've driven a bike. <laughs> Did your bike have cruise control? <laughs> um, like I can sort of put both my hands up and just have it like go. But cruise like, control like... maintains speed, not direction. Oh. <laughs> no, I have to, like, pedal and stuff. Like, that's how a bike works. Yeah. Like, it doesn't so just a bike go doesn't by. have cruise control. It's not, a, it's not a motorbike. Like, I'm not part of, like, Hell's Angels and or stuff like that. And a Winnebago cannot steer itself. So, uh, what, a bagel? The Winnebago, the motor home. <laughs> uh, why is it called the bagel? It's so weird. Winnebago. <laughs> Winnebago. Now I'm saying Winnebago. <laughs> Dang it, you people. <laughs> the guy, oh, man, and the guy sets the cruise control <laughs> to maintain the speed, but then decides that nobody has to drive it. So he, while it's cruise going down the road at, I want to say it was like 70 miles an hour, give or take 10 maybe, gets up from the driver's seat, goes in back to make, to make himself some coffee. What do you think is going to happen to the vehicle, uh, Trooper? What do you think actually happened? Well, I'm just sort of stuck on the thing. Just like <laughs> after like driving so long, like I just I'd make myself a sandwich instead. I mean, coffee is more like a thing that you wake we, up it, to. He wasn't necessarily <laughs> driving a long time. We don't know. I don't know how long he was driving for. All I know is yeah, that he but like was if driving. he like he it was he honestly didn't wake up while in the car. So why does he need coffee now? Like coffee is a morning thing. So I. Just... How do you know it wasn't morning? Maybe he wanted because to try. Because he was out. driving the car. If he if he was if he was if he woke up, he'd be in the house. He wouldn't wake up in the driving car. It's the same uh, thing. No, he's not sleeping. He's he's going to make his, himself some coffee. The <laughs> car, the motorhome, it's the same hunk of metal. Okay, this has gone so up. far off. 
Well, so I'm just forget you, trooper. <laughs> okay, so what happens? So, so what exactly? He puts happened? on the cruise control, which maintains the speed, gets up out of oh, the wait, driver. Oh wait, does he crash? Yes, <laughs> dude, that is like really horrible. Yes, why he crashes? Why did he? Why do you leave the wheel, man? Like well, because <laughs> I'll tell you why. Maybe he's. The tension but, I mean, bottom line, anyone who me, decides man. that they can just get out of the driver's seat while the car is going is stupid. So and that's he, how like the play so that motor home song made gets to be. totaled beyond. It's just trashed. He goes to court to and sues the sues Winnebago. Winnebago blah, I can't say it anymore. <laughs> he sues the bagel. He sues the, sues the company. The bagel saying that delicious. it did not say in the instruction manual that he could not get up from the wheel while the car was moving to make himself some coffee. <laughs> but did the coffee survive? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why was he alone in like a mobile home? He seems kind of lonely, though. He, was well, he just I, alone people there? don't like hanging around stupid people, I guess. I don't know. But I, he I sues know. Winnebago because the but, instruction manual didn't say he couldn't get out of the driver's seat while the thing was on cruise control. He got. Have you heard the? Uh, have you heard of the? the uh, old gra- okay, okay. I'm sorry. For a settlement, which he won, he got a new motor home. And a million dollars. What about the <laughs> coffee, though? Did he get new coffee? <laughs> he got a million dollars. I don't think he needs to worry about whether or not he got the coffee. He can buy plenty I mean, of imagine coffee. Imagine if he bought That depends if the coffee is really expensive. I, well, what if he got, like, one dollar coffee? He has a million coffees. Dude, you don't make a one million... No, one dollar coffee while your your mobile home is driving <laughs> for you. Like, that <laughs> screams, like, some some sort of, like... Like I don't know, cool. Co- I don't. I'm nothing about coffee. So like cool coffee. Like uh, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of coffee. Melon like, I coffee. Can drink it, but I only I drink know. it every once in a great while when we go to a caribou coffee and I get like one of their drinks, which is they so make, full of sugar and everything else, and there's not really actually much coffee. They make it. coffee made <laughs> of a caribou. No. <laughs> no. Like what? This, no. I don't know, like the. No. Is, okay. Okay. We'll just start right there. X, I, I, I've got a question. What is the legal system like in Norway? Like, have you ever been sued? Have you ever had to sue someone? People don't really care that much, because, like, sort of, even, like, mentioning your religion is sort of just a thing you don't do well, in Norway. Kind of they don't have much censorship, so people just curse left and right. There's just... I don't think people just care enough to sue. Interesting. Like that's just like I think it's just like a, a, like I think it's just a, too much of a foreign concept. But well, um, do you guys still carry swords and like battle axes? Oh yeah, all the time. I mean, I just awesome. like I, I yes. usually just ride like either my polar bear or ski to school. Like the ski to school thing is is an actual thing though because it's just too much snow, so nobody gets everywhere, and there's no snow days in Norway. So <laughs> while we were at Disney World at the uh, Epcot Park, we actually did spend a lot more time in the Norway section than any other section, just because some guy from Norway was there and he was talking to us. There's oh, wow. a theme. There's like a, a a part of a theme park that is just like Norway theme. Yeah, Ep- the Epcot Park, like the majority of it, it's the, called like the World Showcase. So you have a section for China, a section for Mexico, Germany, oh, okay. Canada, and Norway cool. is in there too. Hmm. Which is where all the Frozen stuff was, as in do, do Frozen you like movie. Sec- do you got a section for the United States? You just turn around. Probably that last bit. I don't think I uh, live there though. But like, it'd be really easy to go to America if I lived in that Norway. <laughs> I've actually never been to America. I might do that once. I've never you been. You should, Norway. but like, be careful because you may get sued. <laughs> <laughs> no, the what the thing I'm I'm afraid of is just getting shot. He steps off the plane guns. and someone just looks at him and says, "You offend me." Uh, yeah, <laughs> but that's basically what the sue thing goes. But I just. The, the whole Sioux thing in, in America just seems ridiculous, but it's just, I, I guess it's just, um. It's because we're a culture of entitlement. And well, everyone right, well, should get yeah. everything they want. Everyone has like a. It, we, were, we are in the age of entitlement, pretty much. Yes. I mean, everyone needs to post like cutie photos on Instagram to get constant attention. I mean, 
back in the day, you had to like me. go out of your house and scream me. if you wanted someone's attention. Me. Me. I'll show you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have never been threatened with any sort of legal action. I've never uh, threatened anyone with legal action. Ah, family oh members my. have been sued, but that's it. <laughs> Not me personally. I have actually been sued once. Really? Yeah. Why? I, it's it's like I won't go into too much detail because it's it's not very it's not a pleasant thing, but yeah. there was some mix-ups, there was some miscommunication, <laughs> and there was there were some uh, like grudges flying by. But basically, an old teacher of mine was not a big fan of me, <laughs> and th- I made I started making some videos on YouTube just like a vlog thing when I was young yeah. because you know. I'm stupid. I'm young. <laughs> this this doesn't exist anymore, so don't bother trying to find it. If you do, then congratulations, you'll get a medal in the mail. But basically what happened <laughs> is that some people somehow convinced my old teacher that I had posted death threats about oh her gosh. on YouTube. Really? Yeah, and so I had to uh, go to, like, police station and stuff and, like, take down the videos, and it just, like, it it, it, all, it, it it didn't last very long and stuff, but it was just, it was really, really weird and surreal, okay. and just through the entire thing, I just sat there and was like, really? Okay, so you <laughs> really? weren't sued, I don't think you can even get sued at that age, but no, I don't think you it was did like get a tangled dark- up in uh, uh, some sort of allegations. Yeah, I don't know. It was weird, but like people just know know me as that thing now. Like it's just like, oh, you got sued, and it's just like I don't really think I got sued. I just unless I just you police. paid out money or something like that. I did that, not pay money. Then no, you didn't I get just sued. I paid some of my dignity and my YouTube channel. <laughs> so <laughs> no, and not the YouTube channel. <laughs> Dude. I wonder if um, so. Any time EXX Trooper does something, and you just you're just like, "Where is your dignity?" He's like, "Well, I lost it to a school teacher." Yeah, <laughs> like that's that's just like this is the story of how I how I just lost my dignity. That's that that's where it went, people. That's the story. Now you don't need to wonder anymore. But like, in, in terms of our subscribers, though, I just like like to know like those few of you and uh, with that I mean like maybe one or two guys like what is your f- what is your favorite lawsuit like are you as weird as Takuma that you have like a favorite lawsuit <laughs> thing <laughs> and uh, off that same margin like have you ever been sued have you ever yeah. had to sue someone was there a good reason behind it yeah, and put all your personal details below. It's really good. To I was gonna your- say, <laughs> oh my God. Just don't do, don't don't reveal something really big on the internet because it it stays there. Like you just in this in this case with me though, it just didn't stay there because you know police took it, so it's gone now. So, but <laughs> it's know, evidence in the back room. Yeah, I I don't know. It's just don't do bad stuff. I do not take any responsibility to for what information you share in the comment section below. Um and a bunch of, like, legal stuff that sounds really important, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, basically just don't share any personal information. That That's one thing, though, like... Uh, no, it, that's another topic That's entirely. another TTV topic. That's another topic entirely. Topic entirely. I'm just the saying don't put on Twitter that security. you're going away for a month because people know where you live, and then your house is gone. Yeah. <laughs> your house is gone. That's what happens. Like, you just you just say you're gone, then so is your house. Boom. <laughs> X, are you like on another plane of existence? I what? what I I've just had Red Bulls, man. Like, um, <laughs> it didn't give me wings, but like, I'm not gonna sue anyone because of it. I I get the feeling like that whole situation could have been uh, rectified if Wrecked? Red Bull had just if the, like, Red Bull had put. <laughs> it's a word. It means like repaired or uh, fixed. Is Shrektified a word? No, okay. Shrektified oh. is not a word. But okay. Now, like, if they had put like paper cutouts of wings in like containers of Red Bull, boom, problem solved. It did give them wings. Huh. Or maybe just like a coupon for chicken Little wings. Pilot over, wings. Like, like the a world KFC. is so complicated and has like so many things going on. It's it's so hard to like live. <laughs> And we don't so make it any easier. No, we don't. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> we do. We uh, give up, like, reviews about stuff. I don't know. 
I'm pretty sure Kahi's going to be pretty angry at us because like, he's our legal advisor. He does all the law stuff around here. True. So, what, we're not allowed to talk about all this stuff? Uh, no, we're totally allowed. But Ka- oh. I expect at some point another TTV talks about just law in general. But yeah, Kahi's like that pretty the, much... the, the advocate for everything. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, he is. But I think that pretty much wraps it up. What do you guys think? Um, This took a weird direction. <laughs> but I liked we it. didn't even wind and up talking about what we set out to talk about. Yeah, but that will be. <laughs> That'll don't, be another don't spoil episode. it. I they wasn't going to spoil they, it. They like this. It's just a thing, and it's yeah. happening. So it's a preview. <laughs> yeah, like this. No, this was supposed to be a preview of something happening. But this is so. This this is a preview of a preview of something happening. Maybe. There we go. Maybe it's I maybe like that. Well. In that case, uh, thanks for listening and watching. Don't worry, X. I'll, I'll let you close this out. But uh, no, fo- sh- do, okay. do the discussion in the comments. TTV message boards, board.ttvpodcast.com. T shirts are around. Uh, 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 AudibleTrial.com, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, Vessel. Vessel's around. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, we're done. That's it. Everything. All right, X. <laughs> Sign um, us out. Thank, thank you for listening to TTV Talks. Uh, this time around, uh, I have been bar for some reason. It is uh, it's really weird, but it was a fun experience. But uh, I am XX Trooper. I'm LJ. I'm Takuma Nuva. And we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Don't get sued. <laughs> We're going to get sued for telling people We're going to get sued for this (laughs) That wasn't TTV Talks It was TTV Rambles (sighs) Misinformation False advertising Sue them